Thanks for staying tuned. Welcome back to Sunrise Daily. It's just coming up to 8.30 uh, here in Nigeria. Um, thanks for staying tuned. And now we're moving to our final segment of the program today. And this talks about the role of security agencies in the electoral process. Before uh, we go to our guest and before we commence the discussion. First of all, let me just welcome our guest. Our guest is former police commissioner uh, in the Federal Capital Territory, Mr. Lawrence Alobi. Thank you so much for joining us from our Abuja studios. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Now, uh, the Senate president, Dr. Bukola Saraki, did have something to say about this issue of the role of security agencies in the electoral process. Let's hear him. Well, 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 we'll take that track in the course of the discussion uh, because it's very important to hear him uh, to set the stage for some of the things that, uh, that came up. But, Mr. Lobby, let me ask you this. I'll put you on the spot as a former cop yourself. As a former cop yourself. Security cop agencies. Cop. Security agencies are accused of aiding vote buying. They look, either look the other way when uh, these transactions take place, especially near the polling centers and so on, uh, or they actually are part of those receiving uh, these uh, transactions or acting as middlemen between the buyers and the sellers. Now, you have witnessed quite a number of elections in your time in the force. Is this, is this true? Do, do, do you think this is true? Yeah, thank you very much. I think from... My, my, my sojourn in the service and all the periods I've conducted, I've taken part in election security. I would not see no weakness in the institution where some, a voter or somebody or a party agent or anybody is selling votes or, or a lottery is buying votes. I've not seen that. In fact, like I said sometime ago on this, on this, on this channel, that this is a, it's a new phenomenon which uh, is alien to us. I've never seen it, I've not, I've not observed it, I've not witnessed it. This is a new development. And I don't think security agencies will, 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 ever, will ever try to encourage or, or, or assist anybody to or, or overlook, if, or, or pretend not to know what they, that, that some of this of that nature is happening. I think maybe when they see the electoral act itself provides that, is a returning officer who will tell the police officer this fair offense that somebody has committed at the police station is an electoral offense for, for him to effect arrest. So the issue of, issue of road by, uh, vote buying for me is alien, and I think uh, security agents don't get involved in that. Security agents are there posted there to maintain law and order, ensure that the, the, the elections, electorate, the electorate cast their vote without any threat of intimidation, and there's no pu pu uh, threat to public peace and security. They just to maintain law and order, and ensure that the, electoral, the elections is conducted peacefully without any threat of intimidation to any voter. Now out that we have so this show that, we, no, we have we uh, now have uh, mr lobby we have dr bukola saraki's statement on this issue of the role of security agencies in this process please let's take a listen it is all too clear that security agents are beginning to emerge at major clogs in the election process Reports of collision of political actors to disenfranchise voters is very worrying indeed. We cannot, under any circumstance, neutralize elections because that defeats the purpose of free, fair, and credible polls. In an election, access to the polling unit for the purpose of casting one vote is a bare minimum. Once a voter is denied the opportunity to vote through bullying, intimidation, and other forms of harassment, then vote rigging and electoral malpractice have free reign. Well, Mr. Alobi, you had the Senate president there. Um, unambiguous, straightforward. Uh, and as, as you pointed out just before we took him, you said, oh, this is a new or a newish phenomenon because his words were, it's be they are beginning to emerge. Now, uh, We've witnessed some more recent elections in Ekiti, in Oshun, and so on, where uh, 
observers, both local and international observers, have talked about the role of uh, the security agencies in either condoning or in aiding this process. Uh, I don't know whether, given what the Senate President has now said and what I've just said about where these reports are coming from, you may want to take a second look at what you said uh, about the role of security agencies. About this, this, these are allegations. These are mere allegations. And there's no way, there's no way a police officer or any security officer will be there to intimidate or harass or, or threaten the, the, the life of any voter. They are there to maintain law and order. And in the process of doing that, to ensure that the election itself goes on peacefully without any threat. So the issue of, uh, issue of uh, security officers, security personnel, intimidating and threatening or condoling or uh, assisting people to buy vote or sell vote, I don't, for me, I don't think it's just my allegation. I, think, I don't think that any officer will, be, will get involved in that. that is, I, I don't think that is true. It's my allegation, but it's subject to investigation. It's just an allegation. If that can be investigated and established, I think uh, uh, the INEC is there to, INEC is the, the umpire that is a child with that oblig, obligation, a certain function to organize conduct elections. They are due to see if such things are done. They should report to the officers, uh, security officers around to ensure that such persons are apprehended. So I think like, like, like Mr. President did make, make state during the, when they were standing the, the peace pact, that is, this is mutual trust. All of us, it's the only duty of every Nigerian to, to build that trust. So to institutionalize trust in our, elect, elect, our electoral uh, democracy and electoral process. Like Section 24E of the Constitution provides that every Nigerian citizen has a duty to assist the agency, agency, agency in terms of law and order. So it is just everybody's function, both the political leaders, the electorate, everybody's security agencies, we all have a duty. This country belongs to us. We want to enthrone a free and fair and credible election come 2019. So therefore, the duty of all Nigerians, both security, security agencies, the, elect the electorate, the voters, political leaders, everybody. Not just, you know, pointing our fingers at, at the security agencies alone. Mr. Lobby, no, Mr. Lobby, Lobby I, I, maybe, us, maybe I need to, options. maybe I should rephrase Maybe I should rephrase the question because you don't seem to, you don't seem to get, uh, have fully appreciated that. The vote vying process does not involve any kind of violence or intimidation or harassment. It's a willing buyer, willing seller, and in some cases there's a middle person who is involved in ensuring that the transaction goes on smoothly. And you are, you are right, these are allegations. None of those have been proven, although there have been uh, clips here and there showing police officers and indeed other security agencies, you know, involved uh, in some of these. Those may be doctored. We haven't ver verified the authenticity of some of those uh, clips that uh, have come up online. But the question I'm asking is this. In terms of the role of the security agencies in this, how best can this be curbed, given the fact that the security agencies are supposed to be under the control of electoral officers for the purposes of the electoral process. But we've seen in many instances where the electoral officers are, are, are acting in one way and the security agencies are acting in the other way and reporting directly to their commanders, not the electoral officers. You see, the point is that election security, election security like we all, we should all appreciate and know is that is a collective duty of all Nigerians, both the party agents, the politicians, the electorate, and security agencies. The issue of vote, vote, vote buying in the polling stations, like I said, is alien. For me, I've never, I've never, I've never, I, did, I never observed it throughout my, pros, my, stay, my service in the force and throughout my involvement in election, election duties. So I know police officer will go and encourage or condole any, the act of election, vote buying. I don't think that, that is, that is, that, 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 that that any officer will do that. What I think is that the, the, the INEC officers, who are the returning officers, who are there, who are the umpire, who are charged with that function, is to ensure that if such a thing is ever, such an act is ever being observed, he calls, they should call attention of the police officer, look, this, look what, look what this, this man is doing, or this woman is doing. Please take action and apprehend that person. Even the INEC officer himself has duty over under the law to effect arrest. The private person can effect arrest when an offense is committed within its view. They're not just security agencies. Even, a, even, a, 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 even a, the, a, the, the party agent, this, the law provides that every private citizen 
who observe an offense being committed within his vehicle has, can arrest and hand over to the police for investigation. So issue of vote buying, coming of vote buying, is a duty of all of us, security agencies, the, uh, the, the party leaders, party agents, and the and NIG officials. So it's not just security agencies. Like I said, it is just a mere allegation, which I don't be proven. Like also, uh, you, 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 saw, you agree with me that it's not been authenticated whether it is true or false until it's verified and confirmed. But I'm saying is that security agencies, for my, to the best of my knowledge, don't get involved in encouraging or condoling vote, vote buying. It's just, it is, it is, and again, the hiding officials need to be more vigilant. Because they are, they are, they charge, police officers, other agencies are there to maintain law and order. Yes, Mr. When there's Alobi, no breach, 